Wondering how you can use automations inside of Active Campaign? Then this one's for you, as we look at a CRM system called Active Campaign and see what it is capable of when it comes to automation, and specifically for this video, the customer onboarding journey. Also, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how I use Active Campaign and automations to wow our customers with one really neat trick, so don't forget to watch all the way through to catch that. Otherwise, hi, my name is Pete Matheson, and Early this year, I sold my IT business, and now I make YouTube videos about using technology, whether that's the latest gadgets or, or using tech properly in business to help grow your business. First up, if you haven't already signed up for an Active Campaign account, then you can do so by following the link in the description below. If you do sign up using that link, then I do earn a small commission, which helps to pay for these, you know, these videos and run the channel. And also, if you do, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and with all that stuff said, Let's continue. Active Campaign is by far one of the best CRM systems that I've used. And, and specifically, if you want to automate as much of your business as possible. Why? Well, recently I did put out a video all about HubSpot, which I still say is again, one of the other best CRM systems out there, but for different reasons. HubSpot has a ton of features in it, like ticketing and chat, ad campaign integration, social media. But one thing with HubSpot is that if you want to put any real level of automation into your CRM and, and thus into your business, then you're looking at spending an eye-watering like £600 per month to upgrade to their professional pricing plan. Active campaign? Well, yeah. You can achieve all of that with one of their base tiers at just $49 per month. Say what? Today, I'm gonna to show you the automation that I have set up within my own active campaign account, as I recently went through setting this all up for my new IT coaching business. Now, what I'm gonna show you is in kind of three parts, and, and you can skip to these times using the links down below in the description or jump into these timestamps. Firstly, I'll show you how I handle new leads coming into the system. Then I'm gonna show you how I handle new customers signing up. And then lastly, as a bit of a bonus, I'm also gonna show you how I do some of the admin for these new clients, like creating my accounts packages and sending invoices, 100% automatically. So first up is new leads. So what happens here is that I use Calendly to book all of my initial calls with clients. So, so what I'm doing is I'm actually triggering this lead when someone books a new phone call with me. And as you can see here in the meeting received trigger at the top here, what I do next is I add them to my master contact list so I can email them. Of course, make sure you are including all of the you know relevant GDPR things here so you're being legal and good and things. Then what I do is just a few miscellaneous things which is removing some Calendly tags because things got a little bit messy when I first set this up whilst I was you know, renaming calendar appointments. So you likely won't need these ones. And then after that, I add a tag to them to say that I've booked a coaching call. So I know that I've actually booked a coaching call with them. And then finally, I create a deal for that contact. And, and that deal is just a basic top level information, which uh, you know, says who they are and that they've booked a phone call with me in my coaching pipeline. And that I have a preset value of 599 per month for that type of clients. And that is basically it. All that happens next is that I wait for that phone call and then after the call, I head into my deal section within Active Campaign, and I move that deal card thingy, whatever it is, over to whichever category they fit into. If it's someone who wants to proceed, maybe if they're not a right fit for me, or perhaps I just can't work with them yet as I still have some uh, contractual restrictions from selling my business early this year. Then for those who do want to proceed, we head over to part two of my system, which is onboarding new customers. So to onboard new customers, and this is still a bit clunky as I'm currently waiting for a new website to be built and I'll integrate that properly. But first off, much like the last one where I triggered this with someone booking a phone call, this time I'm triggering this one with a form. So when a customer asks where they sign up, I just simply send them a link to my onboarding form, which is just an active campaign form and just ask for the basic info that I need to get started. Things like name, email address, billing information and address. All of this information goes straight into Active Campaign, which I then use in a few different ways. Then first in the process, I add tags to that person, marking them as both a customer and a coaching customer. Now I did this because I, I wanted to be able, able to have a blanket customer tag, as coaching isn't the only type of customer that I have but also tag them as a specific coaching customer in case I wanted to email that group of people separately. Then I remove the uh, the lead tags and also update the deal so that it's set to one. This then goes on to subscribing them to the master list just in case for, for whatever reason they haven't got created as part of the, the lead gen in the first place. And it also then subscribes them to a separate list called coaching clients. Something to point out here is that with Active Campaign, they tell you to stick with one master list and then use tags to segregate that. If you do wait until the next section, you'll understand why I've had to do this and created a list specifically for these clients. Now, what I do next is a little bit of magic uh, by sending a notification email to a business here in the UK, which will then ask them to post out a welcome gift to my new client. 
It also then tags them with a tag that tells me they've received a welcome gift. Again, just in case I missed them out for whatever reason. And, and let me remind you here that this is 100% automated i'm not having to lift a finger to send any of these emails literally a customer signs up and a few days later a welcome gift arrives on their doorstep in return i get some lovely messages thanking me for the kind and thoughtful gift which is still a thoughtful gift but it is completely automated next i go on to create the contacts in my google contacts because well why not and then I actually send that client my first email, which essentially links to a private Calendly booking pages where they can schedule their regular calls with me, which are part of the service that I provide to my clients. And then lastly, I tag them to remind me that direct debits need setting up for that client. Now, here is where it gets a, a little bit complicated, but, but stay with me, please. I then wait a maximum of two days and wait until it's a weekday. And if you see here, it's waiting for a contact to be tagged so that they have booked their coaching call. And if you remember that email I sent them was linking to a Calendly coaching call page, then that's what triggers this thing. So if either the contact books a call or it's two days later and they haven't booked, then it checks, have you booked a call? Yes or no? If yes, then remove all of the tags because I don't really care that they've booked a specific type of Calendly call because well, I've already tagged them as a coaching client and then end the automation. If no, then it sends them a chaser email, waits up to a further five days and then checks again. If this made them sign up for their calls, then it goes straight to the end of the automation again. But finally, if they didn't book their call, I can send them a final reminder, which then just ends the automation. And thankfully I've never hit the end of this side of this automation. Otherwise I might want to create some additional rules that clears them out for my CRM as a customer and maybe removes all the tags, maybe ask them for a refund of their brownies and champagne. <laughs> Stick with me as this last step is a golden bonus. Step three is that once a customer has signed up, I want them to add them to my account system, which is zero. And I also want to automatically send them a direct debit mandate form to collect their monthly payments. Now these steps I actually do from within Zapier, for, for those who don't know what Zapier, or I think it's Zapier. Zap, I think you zap things, so Zapier. It's basically a website where you can create rules similar to active campaign automations. And you can then set up things like, if this happens, then do this. So over on my Zapier account, I have one created for this, which is if a new contact is added to a specific list in Active Campaign. Do you remember from step two when I mentioned that I had to create a separate list for my coaching clients? Well, this is why, because I don't want all of my clients to automatically get signed up to this direct debit thing. So when a new contact is added to a list in Active Campaign, I then create them in zero using all of the same contact information from Active Campaign. And, and then also in step two at the very beginning with that sign up form, I ask them for the email address for invoices to go to. Well, here is where I pull that email address through and into my account system. And then once I've created them in zero, I also need to make sure that I generate a draft sales invoice, which is kind of a bit of a hacky thing that means zero and go cardless, which is the direct debit system I'm using, will ping over an email to my customer and ask them to sign up the direct debit mandate. Finally, back over to Active Campaign, and I have this automation which reminds me every couple of days to check if they have set up the direct debit. So if not, it reminds me every two days. If they have, then all I need to do is go into zero and change that draft invoice into a proper invoice then head over to Active Campaign and remove the DD setup required tag from their contacts. And that, that is how you automate the heck out of your business. Creating a customer sign up journey that is magical for the customer because they get free gifts, but also magical for you, the business, who can pretty much completely automate the flow of new customers coming on board, meaning you have more time to spend delivering whatever product or service you have to those clients. Once again, if you aren't already signed up for an Active Campaign account, and if you have watched all of this thinking, wow, I'd love to automate the bejesus out of my business like this, then follow the link down in the description below to sign up for your own account. I do get a small commission if you do so, which helps just fund more of these videos, but importantly, it doesn't cost you any more. And now at time of making this video, pricing starts from as little as, I think $9 per month, but to get all of the features which I've covered in this, all the automation features, you'll need to subscribe to their plus tier at $49 per month, which at $49 per month is still incredibly huge value for the, for the amount of time you can save by using these automations well. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed this one and that it helps you create your own automation from within Active Campaign. There is just so much you can do using automations within Active Campaign, and it would be really great if you left a comment down below on what you're trying to achieve with automations in your own Active Campaign account. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please do click the like button below, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and maybe next go watch one of these videos, which I hope will be of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.